called Ask Queen. I'll be taking questions from kings and queens. If you have questions, make sure you send them in. You can direct message on Royal Tea TV. So today, first question <laughs> is brought to you by, you guessed it, COVID-19. Swap is <laughs> coronavirus. Row, row in the DMs. Here we go. Responding to people who you haven't heard from in a while in your DMs. I'm going to use some of my own messages <laughs> as an example. And I want to give you three quick things to consider before responding back. So the first one, are you bored or is that person bored? Here's an example from my messages. I haven't heard from this person in over three years. They respond to my story. They send messages. I, I open them because I don't like seeing the little notification on the side. So I'm like, open, close, leave it alone. I don't say anything. Finally, here goes coronavirus. Everybody shut in. Hey, queen, how are you? Are you safe? What are you doing? Why? What's up? Just asking. I'm home relaxing. What are you doing? You know, I'm responding. I'm bored. Same here, relaxing. Me, why are you even messaging me? We've been stopped chatting. LOL. Can you talk? Nope. No, you are bored. Find someone else. I am not a space filler. LOL. Me shaking a head emoji. Goodbye. No other communication after that. So that's the first thing to consider about answering, responding to your DMs during this social distancing and quarantine. Are you bored? Are they bored? Number two, you've heard this saying before, don't start nothing, it won't be nothing. Now, if you're not in a mood or if you're not in a space where you're looking for a situationship or someone just to talk or text with, flirty conversation you know of course you're going to have a few facetimes but are y'all really going to get together do you really want to divulge yourself and your feelings into an experience that maybe you don't want after all this is over with who's to say in two or three weeks that this is not over and then you're like i don't want to talk to you no more so consider that don't start nothing it won't be nothing and then the final point is revisit the reason why you didn't respond to this first person in the first time in a positive way. Now, it can go both ways. Is it something negative where it's like, you know what? They haven't changed. I see them still doing this, doing that, and you're not feeling it. Or it could be positive. You can say, you know what? I'm going to respond to them because now I've seen them grow. I've seen them evolve. I've seen them uh, working on themselves. Maybe they're in a better space and this is a good time to get to know them. Because do y'all remember when the phone used to be for talking? I remember high school talking for hours on the phone, falling asleep on the phone, saying, no, you hang up. No, you hang up first. I mean, that could possibly happen. You could get with somebody and y'all could rekindle something. But make sure you follow those three things. One, are you bored or are they bored? Two, do you want to be in a situation? Where is this relationship really going to go? And then the final thing, has this person changed or evolved? What was the reason in the first place you did not get with them? So that's the question. That was the question for today. If you have more questions, which I want you to flood the DMs, not my personal one, Royalty TV DM and ask questions and I will answer them on the show. Again, Queen Call here. Ask Queen.